Today's activity is making flowers just in time for spring. I'm gonna talk you through how to make your own paper flower, but first you'll notice that in the bags we gave you for this week, you should have eight sheets of tissue paper. Now, if you want, you can mix up the colors like I'm about to do. See, I have pink and I have red sheets, or you can make a flower that is all one color like this one that I've already made here. You should start by stacking all of your papers on top of each other and get them lined up as perfectly as possible. The next thing you're gonna do is turn it sideways so that you can make a tiny accordion fold all the way along your paper. So you see I've folded it once, it's about an inch wide, and then I'm gonna turn the paper upside down and fold it again like this. So it makes a tiny little accordion shape on the side. I'm gonna keep doing this all the way down my paper. As you go, you may wanna press it down just to keep it nice and flat for yourself. That should help you out. All right, now that I've finished folding accordion style, I'm going to take my singular pipe cleaner, put it behind the piece of paper, fold it over the top, give it a little pinch there to make sure it really stays, and then twist it around itself to secure it in place. You wanna put it in the middle of the sheet of paper so that your flower will be even on both sides. Now that it's secure, I'm going to take my scissors, so make sure you have a parent or a guardian looking out for you while you use these. Um, you also don't need to cut the edges if you don't want to. You can just leave it as it is and uh, skip the video forward to where I start the folding process again. But if you do want to style your flower, go ahead, take those scissors, and what you're going to do is round off the edges. I've just made a nice little round shape to those so that my flower will be a little bit more gentle. Go ahead and throw away your scraps and you're ready for the final step. Start off by um, just loosening your petals a little bit. Your pipe cleaner may slip, so make sure you put it back in uh, the spot it should be in the middle if it does. You can kind of see the shape that we're gonna be making here, but don't worry, it's not done yet. I want you to take the topmost layer. For me, it's this first light pink layer, and I'm just gonna take it and pull it. And you can fluff it up a little bit so it's a little circular. Just pull it all the way to the top of the flower. Be extra careful because tissue paper is really delicate. Um, and you don't wanna break it. All right, then you're gonna take all of the rest of your layers and do the exact same thing. With the final layer, you're just kinda of, kinda of floof it up as if it's a fluffy pillow, since you don't have anything to pull it off of. And there you go. That is how to make your own tissue paper flowers. I hope you had fun today. And remember that you can get nice and creative whether you use one color or multiple colors. You can't go wrong. We'll see you next time.